Good morning. Here we are, day 29, I believe. Yes, it is. Um, awesome Sunday night highlights last night. Uh, making tons of progress. During uh, today's video, I kind of want to talk about how much to invest, when to invest, and why. Um, for those that are following my day-to-day -day series and give them that edge. Um, let's go ahead and dive in here real quick. I actually want to go over here and start. I hit that hundred moon night, bro. Um, it was amazing. So we're gonna level him up if we have enough gold, um, or as we have the gold, really. I don't know. I was trying to record here a minute ago, and it was my drivers were kicking out. So I don't know what the problem is there. Um, I'm not fluent in computer at all. I want to make sure I have enough energy at the end to go do a heroes, um, but I would like to finish the villains. That way, when I come back later for energy, I know I'm in heroes. Wow, zero drops. Come on, man. Help it out, Merc Lieutenant. I am putting the finishing touches on my Blitz Guide. Um, and it's going to be directed at the general player. It's not going to be directed at uh, in-game, hardcore Kraken-type people. You know what I mean? Um, but anybody will be able to use the tips, tricks, and advice in it. All right, so we are there. I'm kind of stoked because I want to see on my main account. I've spent so much gold or uh, so much energy. I've only got 7,000 here on my free to play, um, which is just the free energy and the 450 core refreshes. So, But I'm hoping to be in the top 10% on my main account. I spent a ton of cores. If we don't get top 10%, I won't spend any cores on it next week. Just my 450 core refreshes and such. Um, see, and this is what's going to decide a lot of us. It's kind of difficult. Man, all these teams look scary. Yeah, we can't beat that, bro. There's no way. All right, so we're gonna leave the arena alone for a minute. Let's go shopping. Great deal. Um, that's pretty much what power course costs anyway. If you're gonna need some training modules, it's not a terrible deal, I should say. Thirty-five shards. What? what? See, when they get over a hundred, I stop buying them. Um, Hopefully these start to sustain themselves here as we start doing purple gear on our characters. Um, it'll let the blues build up from our blue raid orbs. And then when we come back to it, we'll have blue to put into new characters and such. Um, I might have to buy this. We'll see, this is for Shang-Chi and uh, similar characters. There are many uniques. That's why I'm grabbing them. Go to orbs, we don't have enough. Black Panther again. They must really want me to get that Black Panther, huh? Taskmaster would be nice. Um, gold orb, baby. Hundred and fifty thousands. All right. Be 
before I go invest in characters, I want to go over here and get this rolling. New raid season, huh? See, we're almost to 60% on U6. That's huge. Um, and then we can progress to the next difficulty, next difficulty, um, and such. Wow, that note is so close. What are our hills at? 290, I'm going to save them for now. So we'll just throw one character in and get her done. So when you're investing in characters, you don't want to take any, or you don't want to invest in any character that you're not using, okay? Um, and what I mean by that is, obviously your arena team, you need to keep them invested at max as strong as you can, because obviously they got to win, right? Um, but let's say like a Kestrel, you have her at six stars, or Capsam at six stars, uh, G13. They don't need to go any higher until they're not doing what they need to do. So if they're winning, save your resources and invest them in someone else. Um, until they're not no longer being competitive and then go invest in them as needed. Um, so like once your arena team is winning and getting you where you want to be or where you need to be, focus on your raid team. And once they're winning and getting through the nodes like you need, stop investing in your raid team and go invest in some uh, something else, like a team for uh, Dark Dimension or a team for Doom, uh, Doom Raids. Um, I would say Doom War comes before Doom Raids. Um, Doom Raids are really far off for a lot of people. Um, they're going to start dropping Teal Gear, and the catch-up mechanics are going to get better. Hopefully some gold influx will come to where you have enough gold that you can spend, you know, a couple million a day and build up some of your favorite characters rather than just having to baseline it and everybody has the same teams. Because they're, essentially they're telling you who you have to take now to Doom. You don't have very many options, and if you don't take the right characters... It's going to be a struggle, okay? Um, like Mystic, uh, Mutant, and such. If you take the wrong characters and invest in them, you're going to struggle all the way through Doom. And that's kind of... That's not a video game to me. That's not... That's not fun. Why do I want to play a game where they tell you what you have to invest in or what you have to do? That's ridiculous. I mean... It makes zero sense. So hopefully some changes are coming here. Um...
eventually you'll get to the point where it's better to buy from the store. And that's something you're just going to have to decide. You know, you'll have that feeling, you'll know, um, it'll click. Early on, you want to go pure orbs. Um, and maybe there's a character you need to get to five stars to unlock a legendary or a mythical legendary. If you need to buy them occasionally, focus farm them, go ahead and do it. Um, in game though, like I was saying, you're going to be buying, all I need is Sharon Carter and Shuri, now all I need is Sharon Carter. So there's zero reason to open that raid orb. All it's going to do is give me Ultimus fodder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait till Sharon Carter drops in the store, I'm going to buy her. Every single time until she's max. And once they put a new character in, I'm going to do the same thing. And the raid credits, if they don't make an update, I would use max raid credits for gear if I ever need it, which... Honestly, I don't know that you're going to need it anymore because they've just pumped so much gold gear now from ra doing raids into the game. Um, maybe early on you might have to buy some gear and such, but it's not too terribly bad. Definitely stick with orbs. Um, I would say when you get most of them to about five, six stars, that's when you can make the conscience, conscious decision to change it. And start, you know, hand picking which characters you want to farm. Um, the Blitz Orb is always probably going to be the best option, honestly. Um, I only need like four or five characters out of the Blitz Store. Um, White Tiger and Missy Knight are two of the four or two of the five that I need. So I could focus farm them too, but there's no reason. Um, I want the gold and such, so I'm going to keep opening orbs and getting them as I get them. They're doing what I need them to do currently. Um, so there's no reason to focus for them, White Tiger or such. She's still going to nuke people. Would that extra star be great? Yes, it would. Um, but again, like I was saying, when investing, if your character is doing what they need to do, there's no reason to invest any further. Um, because if they're winning, if they're completing the content you're using them in, that's great. That's like uh, I'm doing from uh, Cosmic Lane to unlock the Moon Knight Taskmaster node. Taskmaster node. <laughs> I only took my crew, two Kree up to like 10 and 5 and I took my Thor to 10. And I built a little 5,000 in Thanos. I ain't taking Thanos any further than I have to to push to the Taskmaster node. Okay? So that's what I mean by just investing enough to do what you need them to do. Once I three-star the Taskmaster node, I'll be done investing in Thor, um, Thanos... Until way late game. Probably mid to late game. And that's just when I'm going to be building out my teams, you know. Taking them up to two to 300k each. So that way I have 10 war offenses and such. That's something that will come together on its own. There's no uh, set path to doing that. You just kind of, you'll get a feel for it. And by the time you're at that point in the game, you'll understand enough to be able to make that uh, educated decision. You know what I mean? Please comment down below if I confused you at all. Because <laughs> um, I kind of confused myself. But I just want to discuss it a little bit. You know what I mean? Because people are always asking, how high should I take this person? How high should I take that person? You should only take them high, as high as you need them. Now, obviously, you're probably going to be maxing your arena team, which starting out is going to be your raid team. Once you get the Axemen, they're going to be your raid team, and you're going to want to take them until they can max U7.5. Once they're 350 to 400k, 450, whatever it needs to be, for you to beat every node, um, preferably on full auto, so that way you can just start, hit full auto, and then do it again and again and again and push through the raid for you 7.5. Once you get them to 350 or 400k, you stop investing in them, okay? Um, because they're doing what you need to do, what you need them to do to clear the content they're built for. Um, stronger is better, obviously, but for U75, that will work. And while they're clearing that, giving you max rewards for uh, raids, you're going to invest into your Doom War teams, um, which is like part of Stage 2, essentially. Pushing to your Yellow Jacket node, your Cap Sam node, um, and as far as you can. But when you go into Doom Campaign, it's going to tell you you need one of these two or three teams, right? Um, Hydra, Power Armor, or Black Order. You're going to go into your roster and look at what you personally have gotten uh, red stars on, which characters you have more shards on, more stars, uh, which characters you've already invested in a little bit, you know. 
and you're going to build up one or two other characters or three other characters to be able to complete those three nodes. And then it's going to call for a different team. And you're going to do the same thing. All the while, your Axemen are clearing you 7.5, giving you max rewards. Um, and that's how you want to decide what, when and what to invest in. Now let's say you move up into Doom Raids. That's way, way off. You need five different teams um, built huge, right? Um, I would say 450 to 600K easy. Um, you're not going to clear very many nodes at 450, I'll tell you that. I take in teams that are between six and 800K, and it's there's times I have to heal my team and such. Um, <laughs> it's rather difficult. But that will all come together on its own. Just following the path, it will all come together. This is a, I think they call them theme park because you're set on a, a set path. Um, it's like a roller coaster. Once you get on the track, you just got to follow the track, right? Um, the same where you can just go and be like, well, I love Captain America because he's all about helping people and he's a great guy. And I love Venom because he eats heads and um, Loki because he's funny. And uh, this chick's got green lipstick, so I want to use her. Throw those four together and beat the game. That's not how this game works uh, <laughs> at all. And that's what, it kind of sucks, but at the same time, it gives you direction. You know what I mean? Um, it would be nice if they opened up the resources, like gold and stuff, enough to where you could invest in other characters like that. But even then, all people would do is, right now they're investing in the top 10 teams they need. If they give them double the gold, all they're going to do is invest in the top 20 teams. They're still not going to invest in their favorite characters, more than likely. So there's zero reason for uh, Scopely slash whoever to do that. You know what I mean? Why would we give you more gold? Because you're just going to use it to maximize your premium teams, right? So why not charge you so you can maximize more premium teams? But, you know, so that's how they're how it's kind of going to go. I would love to say that if they gave us double the gold to spend each day, I would go and invest in my favorite characters. But I don't know that I would. Um, I'd want to be more competitive and maximize my free loot by being more competitive. So I'd invest in the characters that are more competitive, right? Um, Bishop, he is a great character, but he is my favorite. And I put blue ISOs in him. I don't use him in my arena team and I only use him in doom raids. I actually use my symbiotes for U75. Um, and now I've switched to, Ke uh, Kestrel, Silver Surfer, um, Doom and the Eternals. And they just blow through my 7.5 when we do it. Um, so I only use Bishop literally in Doom Raids for two nodes. But I have him at 177, almost 178,000 power. Um, Blue ISO 2. And he's wonderful because he's my favorite character. Okay? Um, and I still have an awesome account. But I do spend a lot of money, so that's a, a, a luxury. I call it a lot of money. There's people out there laughing at me right now. But, you know, it adds up. Money... It's made of trees, but it does not grow on them, okay? <laughs> so <laughs> keep that in mind. <laughs> what I, in these games, I would really love to be able to farm the characters I want. And I just started a Galaxy of Heroes journey quest type deal. And I'm playing the Rebels starting out because they give it to me. And I'm using my knowledge to the best of my ability, but I'm not going to go after somebody because the game says I have to. I want Grandmaster Yoda. I'm going to farm the characters I need for that. Um, I want C-3PO and R2-D2. I'm going to farm the characters I need for that. Um, I'm not going to follow the Geonosians or the Phoenix um, and such beginner starter teams that are going to carry you through all the big arenas and give you more rewards and such. I'm going to play it for fun. Why? Because that's what video games are, man. They're for, for, they're for fun, you know? And uh, I take Marvel Strike Force very seriously, so I'm cutting loose on Star Wars. And I'm slowly trying to do that here on uh, Marvel Strike Force as well. It's just a lot harder. Because, um, well, any team on here, if you take them to a million power, they're going to be awesome. They're going to do what you want them to do. Um, a million power Ravager, Ravagers is not going to be a 600k Black Order. You know what I mean? So there are limitations to that, but they're gonna you gotta pick and choose your fights. Even with Black Order, one of the best teams, you gotta pick and choose your fights. You can't just go and smash every team, right? 
no matter how big they are. And that's just the way it is. You know, something you got to accept. Something you can, you can still build your favorites, you know, don't get me wrong. And that's, I think you should, if, uh, you know what I mean? If that's something you want to do. I'll tell you what, if you're having tons of fun in this game, and you're, you're semi-competitive, and you're collecting the characters you truly love, are you doing anything wrong? No. You're, you, you've succeeded at that point. A high, high percentage of the player base literally logs into a game to collect characters they say you have to collect and build to be competitive in this game. And they never get to enjoy the characters they truly love. Does that sound like something, does that sound common sense at all? Like, is that, is that not nonsensical? Um, it's borderline ridiculous, really. Um, why, why would you sign yourself up to do that? Oh, and then on top of it, you got these people that spend all this money to farm teams that they don't even like. It's like, to me, it just, it, it floors me. It doesn't make sense, right? Um, at all. But, to each their own, I guess. <laughs> um, it's just kind of how it is, you know? And that's, that's why I say anybody that can farm the teams they love and enjoy the game at their own pace, they've, they've won already, you know, and that's what it, the number one rule is to have fun, but in games like this, to be competitive, you can't, um, I guess you can call that fun, kind of, I think it's more like a gambling addiction in a sick sort of way, or an alcohol addiction, but, it is what it is, so, you know, if it, if it quacks like a duck, and it, it looks like a duck and it waddles like a duck. It's probably a duck. You know what I mean? It is what it is. I do want to say I'm not in no way, shape, or form judging anybody. Because I play it in all aspects of this game. Um, I spend on my main. I enjoy the free to play. I level characters I love. I, I level the teams they force you to level. You know what I mean? So I definitely enjoy every aspect of it. All right. I think we're going to go do an arena attack and try to equip some gear here. I was just blitzing to that way I could kind of conversate here and keep my train of thought. Um, claiming this. Boom. Level 55. You have unlocked ISO 8. Okay, so this is huge. Um, let's go ahead and get into this. Let me write that down. Level 55. ISO 8 unlocked. So this is going to interest a lot of people, I imagine. Um, a lot of good information. And I can kind of finally show off uh, what it's actually going to do for our account. What it does for any account, rather. Okay. Did they give me a daily for it? They did. Okay. See, and the blue gear crunch will be cured here. Um, one of my favorite nodes to farm for blue gear once you can get to it. Is right here for these syringes boom and it gives you uh, some of the more desirable like brawlers we have three brawlers I believe on uh, Shadowlands as well as a lot of the newer characters tough ones brawlers blasters um, they're your damage dealers and such plus it's giving you experience and all sorts of other good stuff um, what does this require let's look here it's not saying nothing Unavailable character. 45,000 for Luke Cage. Oh, so they're supplying the first character. Okay. Whew. I was confused there. It might only be global, I believe, is what you can bring into ISO 8.
I do believe. Sin leases Luke Cage is in a battle with untested technology, but ethics are for accountants. Oh my goodness. Me isolate applied. Observe. Not for this quack scientist. All right. Ah, oh, hey, I know I'm bulletproof, but this ain't exactly a picnic. Look at all the damage. Let's see how the powered up Luke fares. Okay, so he has barrier, the fortifier class. Um, thirty-five thousand health, or thirty-five thousand barrier look like. So it didn't even clear his barrier. Huge. Can be used to apply more offensive classes to deploy the Punisher. Uh, Raider class, which will make his attacks more punishing. Ha <laughs> ha. Character's critical hit chance as well as the crit damage. Um, critical hits will apply the vulnerable status to the target as well. Hit me for science. <laughs> Drax. Uh, so you want to put Raider on characters that have innate crit or uh, AOE. So this is going to hit main and adjacent. It's going to hit everybody. So two out of three of his skills are going to hit tons of characters. And if it crits, it will apply vulnerable to each one it crits on. So it's huge. See how it applied it to them all? Because it crit on them all. Oh, is now vulnerable along with the other test subjects. So we're going to send in the striker from attacks. Skirmisher variant Daredevil. Here I come. Vulnerable to the primary target. If the target is already vulnerable, then a buff will be cleared. So we'll take the taunt away. And I run him as a raider myself because he has a ton of crit in his kit. I do believe. Or he hits a lot of characters, rather. I thought he had crit in his kit. Huh, weird. So let's just do the basic. Clear that taunt. Drax is no longer taunting and is still vulnerable. Okay. Wonderful. See, that could be misleading right there, because Daredevil, I would not run as a skirmisher personally. Because he's only going to apply vulnerable to the first target that he hits. And he hits lots of targets, so why not take a chance, or take advantage of crit? The bad thing about it is, running Raider, though, is if he doesn't crit, then he don't get no vulnerables, you know what I mean? So look at this, syringes and purple. Uh damage catalyst. This is huge. This node is amazing. And you're going to get tons of this energy every day. This is strike agent. All we got are strange readings from other dimensions. That's the thing, sir. Some of these readings are um, coming from inside the helicarrier. Uh-oh. Cool upgrades. With ISO 8 and my large hadron kaleidoscope. We can make our forces stronger, smarter, and probably better looking. <laughs> Rule one, you want to build a dangerous looking device? You ask. For permission or for forgiveness. Ooh. This thing is giving off all kinds of weird energy. In fact, we're picking up the same energy from the other side of the solar system. To space. Quickly to space, huh? See, that's cool. Um, so we might not be three starring stuff, but we'll be all right. That is a predicament. Is it better to ask for permission or forgiveness? Um, situational. We tracked the isolate energy signature to the spot where Ultimus kept breaking into our reality. Probably plenty of isolate and not anyone else in sight. We have to ourselves uh oh she was wrong really wrong so I am going to play through all this uh, as far as I can on the isolate if that's not something you uh, think you'll enjoy please fast forward ahead uh, um, let's go with this and kill them all bam 
He is awesome, dude. And he's got a little belly on him, bro. I like it. Sure, he's a super intelligent android who's been developing. That's all about the name, huh? All to ourselves, we're going to have to clear out these drones. Okay, everyone, time to go to work. Let's rock it. Pick three. Pick three, my lord. So obviously we're going to have to go through and three storm, but. Material and return. Ultron's drones are here gathering up isolate. It's creepy. They're like big silver ants. There is nothing you humans can conceive of that Ultron cannot. Led me to discover this new element left behind in the fallout. To do the impossible, improve upon my perfection. How can you improve perfection? I'm terrified of you, but I've got to be honest, I like your style. <laughs> He's got style. Dumbledore has got style. Marginally less painful. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Hear me out on this. I want it. So we're going to take it. Just saying. Hit everybody. Whammy. Slow them down. So we don't want to taunt with this dude. We just want him to stay alive, hopefully. We do want to taunt with uh, Red Guardian, though. Nebula, stand still. Does this do any? It does do damage. Okay. See how it always applies crit? So Raider there, it only hits one person, but why not get that crit and stuff? Uh, innate crit. You ain't going to want to use it on him. You're probably going to want to run Skirmisher, depending on how much focus his team gives him. Because he applies slows like crazy, and you want to make sure those slows land. Here we go. Whammy. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, let's just do basics. There's no reason to go crazy, right? Hit them both. Easy peasy. Aww. Surprise EMP. I yoinked his tech. Okay. Awkward. Mystic Gear. See, and that's going to solve our blue Mystic Gear crunch. I mean, at least it's going to help drastically. Um, when I say solve, um, you won't have to buy as much, if any, anymore. Scientists, what did you find? What, what did you find out there? What did, what did? Well, while we're retrieving the isolate, I also managed to invent this incredible little gadget. Uh oh. The brigade of murderous robots down on us now. And science done it all right. Weird science. Are you obsessed with me or something? Any more 
organic life forms to stand in my way. That's me, I knew it. Hmm. We'll save that. I don't know that we can chew through Ultron. We're going to find out, though. Yeah, that might have been the wrong mode to put up. Because defense up, he just really nukes. I think he does 100% extra damage when he nukes someone with defense up. Oh, I think we're in trouble. We may be in trouble. Hammer time. Whatever, dude. We're throwing this on auto. Hopefully Wolverine could just chew through him. Get us past this node. We'll be able to come in and three-star this real easy later. Because three out of five of these characters is what I'm currently leveling up for my raids as well as my arena team. Pick three, my lord. Dormammu. I'm going to start turning our dimension into Swiss cheese. That is a byproduct of rips in the fabric of reality. Ultimus has torn the most holes in our dimension, so we have the most ISO 8. Hadron Kaleidoscope, I love saying that. And then aim, we'll be back on top. No, a rocket. No, it's speedboat with rockets. <laughs> Nick, are you planning on keeping all of these highly powerful yet unstable crystals? I got a team house. House hunting as we speak. Retaking our old aim facilities back by force. All right. Interesting. Craft time we arrived at our former aim lab, but we had bad news. Lab has infestation of ultimate spring wash shield agents. Okay. Take them out. Whammy. 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 Let's do that. Oh, she's still invisible? What the heck? Hit them all. All three of them? I take it. Correct. 
testing. Let's go this route. I was really hoping for that three stars when I'm trying to heal him up. Yeah, yeah. That's what we're talking about. Staying alive, staying alive. Slow him down a little bit. Nice match. All right, so I'm, I have like a cold sweat. I don't know if COVID made it way, its way to our family. I don't feel very well. Um, I am going to stop the video here for a minute. I got to go. I got to do something. I'm going to pass out or something. I don't. I feel nauseous. Um, we'll be back for free energy, guys. Have a great morning. Welcome back. I am feeling better now. I was still a little rough, man. I thought I was going to pass out this morning. I just had to shut it down and go to act bed. I was sweating and feeling nauseous and all sorts of bad stuff. Um, I think I got a stomach bug, I hope. Um, my daughter-in-law is supposed to be going to get uh, a COVID test, so we're going to find out. What's going on here now? Nick Fury, bro. Nice. Unlock, Brigadier. spent all my energy this morning um, campaign energy available in one hour so I did miss free energy dang it see and we almost have everybody donating this is huge everybody this is amazing great job um, vagrant just joined old man Jen empty UFA spiff um, I don't think they're high enough levels yet. Yeah, 48. 44. So we're we're doing great. Vagrant ain't even high enough level either. Spiff. Beautiful. Beautiful. I wanna I gotta say something here to my team, my squad. My familia. Um That's amazing. That's how it should be, guys. That's wonderful. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, let's fight this Kestrel, I guess. I did unlock Shang-Chi finally from the Strike Pass. Uh, after hitting Stop Record, I collected everything, and I got that. And I went and I just maxed him instantly. And he didn't get a very high power level, but he's my first plug-and-play character. So we went way over the million. Um, I shouldn't have done it. I, did. I just wasn't feeling good. I was trying to hurry. And I made a bad decision. So this is tons of damage. I don't see us being able to get through this. But we're going to find out. Oh, God. He didn't even get the slows off. Okay. Rough crowd. Rough crowd. They have Icarus, so we're we're in trouble. Even punching down 100k, I'll be surprised if we win it. All I have is Cersei, so right now, currently, I'm at level 66. 
Yeah, we didn't even get a turn. My Cersei ain't scratched. My Wolverine's fine, but rough. Rough crowd, rough crowd. Eleven out of fifteen. So we got blitzes. That's all we got left to do. Oh, we're gonna have a mega orb. Okay. See, and this is where I got my Shang Chi. Um, I believe it's supposed to be fifty shards. Is all we were supposed to get of them. So I must have got some drops somewhere. Um, which is awesome. Supplies. All right. Well, I ain't going to farm no loot, so that's awesome. If they want to give me shards that way, I will take them all day. White Tiger. Woot woot. So she's working towards three star. Um, that got us close to a mega orb. That's wonderful. Seth. Quake. See a blob. That's awesome. Saves us some arena credits. And Colossus. See, and he's unfarmable till uh, level 70 when you get into heroes. There we go. We need some gold. All right. Another premium. Wall opener. 25 drop. Yeah. Mystique. Welcome to the squad, baby. She's amazing, too. Awesome character. I'm gonna write that down. Mystique. From a premium. All right. Yeah, we'll recruit her. See, and this is how she looks on the cards back in the day and stuff. Um, amazing. Supplies. We don't have enough currently. After we do some blitzes, we should. See, 1.6. So, 7.75 would be a good place to stop for us, I believe, here. Hopefully, we don't go over. But Shang Chi is instantly. He's one of them plug and plays. You hit a Kestrel, Cap Sam, Shang Chi. Um, there's a few others, you know what I mean? Cersei, Icarus currently. You just got to go with it. You got to get them. You know what I mean? You got to boost them up. And you got to utilize them. 40,000. That's a lot. We'll wait on those. We have some orbs for that to open. Orbs. Yes, please. Okay. Oh, Sharon, what up? All right, we'll take it. Mystic Gear. See, that's awesome. So I'm really feeling the shift in the the way uh, materials and income daily are coming in. Um, and it's day 29. I felt it for a few days. I mean, tomorrow will be better than today even. Um, we are starting to sustain significant income and growth. So this is quite wonderful. Let's see if they're offering anything sweet. Don't have her. And I only took her like 50, 60,000 on my main. I don't even, I use her in wards, that's it. Um, she's part of the new warriors. She's definitely a great character. I'm not, you know what I mean? And we're gonna actually be farming ISO. So I don't know that we need to even buy any at the moment. Um, I do a lot of these where when my ions are high, I'll buy a few here, you know, the lowest number usually. I would love to have that and that and that. I want them all. They're all pretty cool. That'd be my first, though. We have orbs. Orbs to open. 
28 of these babies. Let's see what we got. This is going to help our arena team as well. Um, boost them up quite a bit. Brawler, that's huge. Chloe Joe, go clean your foot elsewhere, man. You're out of control, babe. Um... Roster. What, 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 what? Um, obviously, he's one of my mutants that I'm going to uh, utilize for my five original mutagen. Uh, Skirmisher, I do believe, is what I'm going to run on him. But I actually want to look into his uh, skills here a little bit. Let me give me. Let me do a little research. Let's see if he applies slow. So if he hits twice, it'd be two slows. Um, and he attacks three people, so hitting twice would be huge. Um, whew, I don't know what to do there. Let's read all of his skills. One more astonishing X Men allies and health is full start on enemy slow bear self. Wow. On enemy turn, 10% chance to attack the enemy for 80% piercing. Always attack the enemy for piercing. So that's huge. Um, lower the armor for 10%. So piercing really gets through him. See if he has any built-in crit. Always crits. Sorry if you heard that I had a sneeze really bad. I don't know if I got the mic off in time. <laughs> <coughs> Bury yourself for 20% of this character's max health. Then attack all enemies. Apply slow. So he's going to be fortifying himself already. Um, would fortifier help more? I don't know. Um, and his focus ain't going to give me a clear view yet. You'd want to use msf.gg or something to see his maximum potential. Um, But we definitely want to be a, a landing the slow. So I think I'm going to start off with Skirmisher. Beast will be a healer. Uh, I believe Jubilee's a striker. Bishop's a striker. And I run Jubilee as a Skirmisher Blue Ice on my main. Um, what's his speed? See, and the stats aren't going to be accurate until I completely level them up. He's fast. Okay, 113 speed is pretty fast. Um... Hmm. So we're going to leave it open for now. I'm going to, oh, I got to throw something on there, right? Let's throw Skirmisher for now because it only costs one of these. And taking them to three is not a terrible, terrible thing. Um, it's only nine pieces to go to level three. Nine, 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 nine. Um, and then you can swap over to a different one. So it's either going to be Skirmisher or Striker that I'm seeing. Unless you want to run some weird kind of hybrid thing with Raider maybe or uh, Fortifier. Definitely not a healer, though. Um, no, we don't want to spend any more right now. Sorry. Um, White Tiger. We know she's a striker, so let's get the ones we know. This is a huge improvement for my our account here. My account, the free-to-play, the day-to-day. -day. Um, she's a beast, okay? Um she just nukes somebody. And she's a, a beautiful, beautiful character. They did amazing in her design. Um, what does she need here? Let's go with this. We don't have anything. So we got to keep playing through the campaign. Daredevil. Okay, so the reason I want to go is crit on Daredevil here. Attack primary target for 200% damage. 40% chance of bonus attack. 100% villain bonus attack. Increase 8%. See, and I, they won't kill each other, so uh, people like Emma Frost or Mystique that make you attack yourselves, you know, with the highest damage, 
they do reduce to, to damage, deals less damage. I believe it's like 25 or 30% less or something. It's just massive, right? Um, so he's just hitting people here with a bonus attack, but he's hitting multiple people. This one, he's hitting multiple people. Um, down here at Brawl, attack primary for 330, chain to three or four targets. He's attacking tons and tons of people. And it's actually gonna be four to six targets if you are to T4 this. So that's just multiple times to land a crit. You know what I mean? Shadowland allies this attack cannot be blocked, which is huge currently. Um, block is playing a huge part. Now I wanna look at his built-in stats. 10% crit ch chance, but he's super, super fast. So he's gonna be going a lot and hitting a lot. Um, I personally like to run him as a raider because of that. He hits multiple people on every turn. I forgot to look at this. Gain five speed for self and defender allies. This is applied after any character has taken an action. Dodge chance, gain five dodge chance per defender ally. Gain five damage. So it's going to add five more damage. Um, in war, if this character has offense up, which he'll spawn with offense up every time, um, gain 25% crit chance for each Shadowland ally, which is 100% crit chance. Um, and he's going to hit multiple people, so he's going to crit. And that's right there is why I run him as a raider. Okay. Um, I just wanted to kind of show you how I go through the motions here. And I will continue to do that, just so that way you can kind of see how you want to look at things. Um, a big topic is looking at their basics. I didn't want to do that, dang it. And if they have a, a basic where it's applying slow, like uh, Iceman, he's applying slow. But he's applying tons of slow, so I don't know that he absolutely needs another bonus attack. I'd actually rather have him put a vulnerable so my uh, Bishop and Jubilee can just nuke somebody twice. They hit so, so hard. Um, and this crit chance that it's giving us a bonus to here, gain 15% crit chance. Um, you're applying vulnerable up to maximum of 3, gain plus 15 crit chance. Now, all that's doing is make it on his, all of his other attacks, you know what I mean, outside of war as well. It's awesome. Um, all right, we'll go back. See, I don't know how to build Ghost Rider yet. So let's go ahead and learn him. Apply Bleed for two turns. So if he hits again, he's going to apply Bleed for four turns. I don't know that you need four turns of Bleed. That just seems excessive. It's just pure damage. Striker's going to give him more out and out damage. Let's see what else he's got here. Attack primary target for 230% damage, apply two bleed, attack all adjacent targets for 210% damage, plus apply two bleed. So tons of bleeds, hits multiple targets, cannot be blocked, cannot miss. Um, penance stare, attack primary for that much piercing, apply offense down and defense down. So he's going to need some focus to apply those. Um, if charged, this attack gains 150% drain and lose one charged. 60% piercing. 50% drain of charge, more piercing. So that's just massive amounts of damage. Um, Spirit of Vengeance. Let's see what we got here. On death, grant two ability energy to all supernatural allies. On an unsummoned ally death, attack the enemy that killed the target for 300% damage and gain, plus one charged up to a maximum of five. Generate two ability energy for self, one negative effect. It's applied to an enemy, fill speed bar for, of self and all supernatural allies by 2%. Naturalize gain 10% max health. Um, gain 30% focus. Mystic allies gain focus. So he's getting some focus. Um, I don't know that we need to run him as a skirmisher because he's going to mostly apply it anyway. More damage, speed bar, max health. Um, on non summon ally death, that's huge. Three ability energy instead of two. 100% damage, 20% max health for self and supernatural allies. Um, so he's only hitting multiple targets on this. So I'm thinking obviously it's going to be a striker. He doesn't need the focus from skirmisher. We just want more damage. Um, maximize his damage if we can. So striker would be what I'd go with. He doesn't have any kind of hills. I guess you could throw a heal or a fortifier if you want to do some kind of hybrid build, you know, where... You have five healers on your team, and they're constantly healing the weakest, hurt, most hurt person. You know, for some sustain, if it's all DPSs and such. I can't, just, I can't speculate to that. But what I, I'm going to run him as a striker. Now, I do like to run Wolverine as a healer. 
Um, on turn, heal for 15% of this character's max health. On death, 5% chance to revive. So the heal is coming right here on turn. Every turn he's getting 15%. Well, if you put healer on him, it's going to crank that heal up. And as you can see, um, right here, it's going to add another 5%. So he's going to get a 20% heal every turn. That's quite massive. A lot of people want to run him as Raider because he, uh, his skills. Gain offense up if you're below 50% health. Attack primary target for that much piercing. Massive, massive nuke. Uh, Colossus are, uh, Omega Red. Offense up for two turns. Clear death proof from primary target. Uh, unavoidable and cannot be blocked. He's applying a lot of bleeds, but... Attack primary target for piercing. Apply bleed rebound chain to three or four or five targets. Um, for piercing, apply bleed. Gain 100% crit chance on each secondary target. So three to four down here, and when you upgrade, it's uh, rebound chain to five enemies. It's 100% crit chance on each of those five enemies. Um, I guess if he rebounds between the primary and the secondary target, I don't know if it would count on the primary if he hits them multiple times. Because... He's primary initially. Is he still primary if he rebounds to him? I don't know. That's You get what I'm saying there? There's a lot of stuff I don't know. But he's got that crit chance. And if he hits, like, let's say three different people, it's guaranteed to crit. That's that's going to apply vulnerables. So you're going to want to run Raider for the vulnerables on that. Um, now, if you have a bunch of people on your uh, Weapon X team that are applying or running Skirmisher, maybe you don't need to run him as a Skirmisher. Um, attack primary target for piercing, apply bleed. Running him as a striker just doesn't make sense at all because why would you want to apply one more bleed? Um, he's almost best off as a raider, but I want to show you why I say I like to run him as a healer as well. It says, uh, on turn, apply minor regeneration to the most injured ally, which will be one of his allies more than likely. Um, maybe himself. Gain 5% active healing. So that 20% heal when it's T4'd goes to a 25 um, then you got this gain 5%, uh, or wait on turn he'll most injured alley for 5% of this character's max health. His health is huge. You're going to gain another 5%. So it's giving you a 30% heal every single turn. So if he's 70% or higher, it's going to fill his health full. Um, here's 10% active healing. Okay. Um, that's now a 40% heal, essentially taking him from half life to full life. Um, let's look at the blue eyes though. 15 more percent so that's taking him up to a 55 percent active hill i don't know what the hard cap is on this i don't know if you could have 100 percent active hill that would be crazy would it not i want to try it and see if it works i don't know that i'm gonna go this far but um like right here we're getting the 10 5 and 5 that's 20 plus his automatic 20 that's 40 percent health so when he's below half health and it becomes his turn i'll see on the screen what it heals him for and if it stops at a percentage of his max health, I'll know. You get what I'm saying? And then I'll know the heal is not no longer working. I'll know that there's a hard cap. So for Fortifier, you can only have, what is it? 30% um, of your max health as a barrier. So if you have 500,000 health, you can only have 145,000 bar barrier, essentially. Now, is that the same with heals? You can only heal for 30% max heal. I don't know. Um, so he essentially could be a healer in a way um, I don't know maybe we'll do him as raider and we'll flop him between raider and healer I want to test the healer though everybody's running him as raider so go raider if you're just comfortable with that but I want to try healer personally that's a personal objective of mine <laughs> Now, Spider-Man might be coming back into our arena team. Um, I have been maxing him, but now that he has Skirmisher, he will always apply those uh, defense downs and such to multiple people. That's huge. Um, I got to get some more ISOs. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move forward here because I'm taking up so much time on that. I'm sorry, I'm very long-winded. I hope some of that makes is useful information because that's... ISO 8s, there's no set way of doing it. Like... There's, they were built so that way you're supposed to be able to flip and flop. Like, I could put on healer if I need healer in one situation and then raider in another situation type of deal. Um, it's how it's supposed to be. But starting out, it's not that way. They are very, very strapped. Um, they've opened it up a little bit, so it's getting better. But 
long way from the top if you want to rock and roll type of deal. You know what I mean? All right, let's go over here to Ice Cope Eight. So this is where I got to. I just went back and I auto won. Um, I think it was this one actually. Yeah. So you do 120, 120. Um, maybe it wasn't this one. I don't know. I was sick. I was feeling really ugh. Um, no, let's look here and see what pieces we might need actually. So mutant gear is nice. Mystic gear. How many of these do we got? 19. That's what we're going to auto win. Um, I'm still not feeling very well. I'm starting to actually get sweaty and clammy and feeling nauseated. So I'm going to actually get my stuff done here. I'll have to focus. I never buy these. Now, if you're a spender and you have plenty of cores where you can spend like $20 a week, this is a value. This is the same as regular campaign energy. You're getting gear, you're getting ISOs, you're getting XP. Um, I don't know that you, yeah, you even get some gold out of it. So, and you're getting the ions. It's a value, but I have never spent on my main account refreshing this unless it's like, a, I think they do like that uh, boosted XP or something, maybe then or an event that calls for you to spend ISO 8 campaign energy, I would spend then. Um, but it's, I I can't honestly say I remember a time I've done it. So, that's more of a personal personal thing you'll have to do. Um, or decision, rather. What, what? Um, so what do we got for milestones? Let's make sure we hit that, that gold cap. So I got to spend sixteen thousand, and then I'm gonna blitz um, fifteen thousand. See what we got here. Night nurse, what what? And I don't believe you can do T fours till you're level sixty or sixty five. So here he is. I spent a ton on this guy, over a million, one point three or one point four million on this guy. So we're going to continue to max him up. I got just over, just under 4,000 to spend. I'm hoping he will help us steady out in the arena until we can get our Cersei. Is what I'm hoping. Is that max level? Okay. So I do want to train her here. Bam, bam. 800. So we went over just a little bit. Um, 145 gold over. All right. That'll work. See, and you kind of got to roll with it. These are the three I'm going to roll with. With uh, Iceman, Beast, Red Guardian, Chong chis 4. And then I might bring White Tiger. Um, one of these. And I have to just kind of see how it goes. This is my arena team. These two. And he'll be in arenas. Or not arena. Uh, raids. These two are. But these other ones can help as well. Um, defense up to the whole team. That's sustainability and such. Slows, heals, um, AOE damage. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm kind of spreading myself out a little bit here, and it's not good. We'll have to gain some focus here. So, boot camp is in four days. What do we got going on? Let's go ahead and do some arena attacks, get some points. That's a punch up, but we might actually be able to, we're going to try it and hope for the best. Yeah, we got to rock it. We got to try it. All right. I'm going to go ahead and finish it here. I'll be back later for free energy. Hopefully I'm I like a, like a full body clammy feeling. I just, I don't know if I got the flu or what's going on here. Um, much love. I hope you all had a great afternoon. And we'll see you back here for some energy later.
So that was a solid punch up. Um, I'm not sure how much, but that was quite an awesome punch up. Got very lucky there.
That node was ridiculous. We've been fighting that node forever, bro.
Welcome in everybody. Um, I slept and then I slept and then I slept some more. Um, we had dinner here. I want to get this free energy. <coughs> um, one of our family members tested positive for COVID. And of course we just had our Thanksgiving. Um, so it's, it's very interesting. And I've been feeling pretty sick for three days now. I don't know if I believe I mentioned it in a few days prior, a last couple of videos I've done actually. Um, I just hope I don't have the COVID, I hope it's a flu or something, but she tested positive. Um, it's looking like, I haven't got my reward yet for this, so I don't know when it's gonna pop in or what, dude. Um, this endless power for the first week, cause I was 15,800, that's probably the bottom 55% or something, but I got tops, I was in the top, Right around 700th place on my main. So I will get the 35K. Um, I do believe. Top 10%. I'm hoping. Top 10% of 7,000 would be 700th place. And as you can see, I was in 15,000 on this account. So I think the top 10% would then jump up again to what would it be like? 1.5K would be the top 10%. And I'm sure it goes even further down than that. So. Um, depending on how many players are, you know, it could be 10,000 get the top 10% and we got it pretty easy So I think next next week I'll go a little easier on it and see how we do Because I'm gonna get him at five star for sure There's no reason to waste any more cores than I have to especially with Christmas and everything coming up um, I want to be prepared if there's another drop or a character release event and such um, I want to be ready for that type of deal, you know Arena so we're still in the top 250 um, we finished 216 1125 for that and I quit on that really early I didn't I think I put 450,000 points if that um, so I can max Polaris and get the top 5% for that way more important in my opinion Polaris just blows Thanos out of the water so we are 30 shards short we have another week of his event we get 25 from that event alone so we have nothing to worry about plus all the credits and such so I'll calculate it up we might push for as many shards as we can get or we might buy some gear and stuff you know I just don't I don't know at this point um, there's no reason to go for four stars if I'm only gonna get 20 shards out of 80 um, once he becomes farmable and such I'll get him you know that way I'm gonna cue my mic the laundry the washing machines going hard bro I do want to say these serums, the only ones that I can remember is Baron Zemo that will use that. So I really didn't even need to buy it. I probably shouldn't have. Um, but if I'm only going to get 20 shards out of 80, there's no reason to go this way. Maybe I'll get the bullseye or the hawk, Hawkeye. Is that his name? Hawk guy um, costume. I don't know because I don't plan on using wave one. And I didn't even use Hawkeye on my main account. Barely at all. I ain't getting any of this teal gear from my baby account. There's no reason. I might grab these up for my night nurse. Um, that's expensive. Or the Uru for my Cersei. Because um, she eventually will be in our roster. <laughs> it might be six months from now. I don't know. As well as the other characters that use the Uru. The Guardians are wonderful. They're one of my favorite teams. And I hope Odin comes to the game and Laufey's son. And, uh, that'd be awesome. Laufey, I mean, that'd just be crazy. So I don't know that the price point really hits, but this is a good price point for me. 25 of these, 25 of these. You know, there's so many people that complain about the crunch on um, SBCs and uh, NBCs or whatever. I don't know what they're called. Normal basic cap. I don't know what they're called. Um, I guess advanced ABCs and SBCs. It's right there. <laughs> um, but they complain about these so much. So why not grab these? You know what I mean? 20 or 30 shards towards the next star doesn't do anything for you. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's 
literally just sitting there as a shard count. So I definitely unlock him. I wouldn't blame anybody if they went for as many shards as they could get. Obviously, he's an amazing character, but um, there's no need to, in my opinion. And that's all it is. That's <laughs> my opinion, man. Um, Daredevil. Ooh, starring him up, baby. Mark Sold. See, uh, these three are all used for flash events. Bishop. Oh, my goodness. I don't even have him unlocked. I'm going to look see if I got him. I don't think I... I don't have the War Store, so I don't have him unlocked. Um, man, I would love to buy that. I almost bought it instantly. Favorite character in the game. Night Nurse, this is huge. Uh, I just did a 100k punch up um, with my Shadowlands not having any T4s. He's like 236 against a 336 team. Um, and there was no questions asked, man. It was annihilation. The fight went exactly how I wanted it to. Um, it was wonderful. See if we can find a few of these. And we can. All right. 120. Whammy. So we're going to actually take her up to two. And you can click over on it. You can go that way. Um, you can do one at a time. And it will just keep upgrading to the next level. Um, it's totally however you want to do it. But like if you're at zero and you're going to four, I like to click on four or five. I don't actually want to set them go fuse, 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 fuse. Um, but it's whatever you want to do, you know. There's no right or wrong there. So that active healing is going to help. Um, I have to assume you can go over. Because if you make her a healer, right? She's getting five here, five here, ten here. That's a 20% heal, right? You take her to blue, that's a 35% more healing per active heal. So let's go look at this real quick. I just want to show this off because I don't understand it. I want to see if you guys do. Um... Heal all allies for 4,000 health plus 15%. Um, that 15% plus that 35 is a 50% heal to every ally. Um, can they really do that? It's like literally bringing your whole team back to full health. Um, resetting them, essentially. You know what I mean? Plus, it's applying regeneration to each ally. Um, apply two regens, and it starts at full once you T4 it. Um, and that's just the 35% that I, I stated. Let's go and look at this here real quick. I also want to look at this. So you're down here to this first level here and that gives you the 15 extra to make it 35% healing. Um, clear one bleed or minor bleed from your most injured ally. Apply more regenerations. Okay, so it's just that's... I think that might be the max gain. 10% max health armor focus. Most injured ally. Heal that ally for 5% of this character's max health. Gain 20% damage. Um... So 35 is the max from the ISO. Now she's already got a 15% heal on that move. Does it cap at 35%? That's what I'd really like to know. How about this one that's at 15? You had five, that's 20. Um, heal the most injured ally and adjacent allies for 20% of this character's max health plus the active healing 35, that's 55% heal. Is that real? Can that happen? That's what I wanna know. Because if I level up healer on her, and I can only use 15% of the 35 heals I paid for to make it a 35% max heal right here, um, like Fortifier, it maxes. You can only have her max health is 36,000. So her barrier can't be any more than, a, uh, what would that be, like 10,600? Because it can only be 30 or 35% of your max health your barrier can. So... The more health you have, the bigger your barrier, but does it affect heals? Is there a hard cap on heals is what I'm trying to say. Um, if you know, comment down below, please. That would be very, very useful information. All right, 20,000 power. He is looking beasty, man. I like it. Okay. Kids just got here. They're coming to stay for the night. Um, and chill with their old man. I'm going to go healer on him and I want to try it. And that's another reason I ask is because he has this 15% built-in healing. Plus he's going to go, um, not there, right here. So he's going to add another 5% max health. So 20% heal right there every time he takes a turn. On his turn, he heals for that. 20% of this character's max health. 
Now, if I add that 35% active healing, would that be a 55% heal every turn he takes? Would he be unkillable? Is what I'm trying to figure out. Um, or close to it. And that's something I don't know. That's why I think there's a hard cap. Because I can't imagine them allowing Wolverine to heal 55% every single turn. That's just insane, right? Of course, they built Icarus and Cersei, so anything's possible. <laughs> Especially when Scopely's in control, you know? Let's tear him up here. What are you yelling about, woman? Why is he naked? <sighs> oh, I'm gonna go get the kids ready for bed, guys. Um, be right back. I guess they're ready. She brought them ready for bed. Um, right on. We're still potty training, dude. Um, he has troubles at night, but he's getting better at it. Training. Boom, boom. See, now I'm getting out of control with spending gold, so I need to stop. And that's the thing. You got to be able to focus, man. You got to focus hard in this game. Shang-Chi. Oh, my goodness. What am I doing? That's where my focus needs to be on him. All right. Spent there, spent there. See, and I usually like to spend while I got plenty of ions, but like I'd grab that for 5,000 because it's the lowest one. And you need tons of these. These and the blaster one and the brawler one seem to go just off the shelf. Um, you don't use a ton of uh, fortifiers or protectors in my opinion. It's all about pumping out damage for the most part. I guess I forgot to see if there's a one power core offer tonight. I didn't get notified. Are they back to the original offers now? It does look that way. See, that's that thousand power cores is still there. They're going to taunt me with it until I buy it, I'm sure. Which I'm not gonna, but... It gets harder every time I see it, I'll tell you that. Here we go. See, and you get that big chunk every Sunday, Monday, uh, and Thursday. Because you get the, the rewards, milestone rewards from Blitz. It's just so, so important, guys. Blitz is one of the most important game modes. Blitz, rate, you know what I mean? People undervalue it, but it really is. And with these veterans stop doing it, they just get their milestones and quit, you can actually place a lot higher than you would think. Which is kind of nice. Um, in its own way, it's a catch-up mechanic because the veterans are burn out on it they get the rewards and then they quit blitzing and you're able to surpass their score to get a higher rank um, I don't think Scopely planned it that way but kind of fell into place nicely didn't it all right well uh oh cue my mic See, and that's passively leveling up. I open Blitz Orbs and I get his shards. He's at two stars already, and we're in our first month. Bear in mind that is only 45 shards in our first month. But we open very, very few uh, or, uh, Blitz Orbs because we've only had... There was times we were going with six teams, eight teams. Now we have ten teams. And we don't win with all ten, so we're only getting like 70 or 80 Blitz credits per rotation. And it takes 350 to open an orb. So once you got 30 teams... 35, 40 teams, it just keeps getting better. You get what I'm saying? So that's why you want to be opening the, the orbs and, and building your account wide 
Anybody that tells you to build straight up is crazy. Um, and there's times, there's teams that you build straight up, but you want your account to build wide. Your roster, you need to unlock these guys. Plus, he's a mercenary used for the payday event. So, he's on all honesty, he'd be the first character I would buy straight out. You know what I mean? Rationally, if you're thinking about it long term, you want to get him to seven stars so you get that millions of gold sooner than later. Um, the only bad thing about mercenaries is you can only use them on war defense, really. Um, otherwise, they lose tons and tons of their perks, which is rough. really sucks. If these are green, I'll invest them. You just get so many greens, you might as well increase your power level. Helps with blitz. Zero reason not to invest these. You see how many I got? And it's just like, and they're cheap. They're one in two thousand. I think it's twenty five hundred gold to equip your greens here, um, and it boosted him up to seven fifty one. So now he'll be better in blitz. You'll get more points because it's based off your team. Um, so always throw those in there if you have extras. You know. Um, no. We are holding off on all these players down here. Like we got Captain Marvel, Polaris, Moon Knight. What are you doing down here, bro? Totally forgot about you. See, that's why it's good to hard them, man. You. I have never got to enjoy him on my main account, dude. And I don't know much about him. I'd love to get the comic. Um. I guess he's Daredevil 2.0, really, because he's got these moon size or whatever they're called, moons. Um, boomerang type deals. Whereas Delta Daredevil has a staff. So, it's pretty cool. And as you can see, I'm running out of these materials. And I buy them every day that they're in the store. Every time it re refresh, I buy all the greens. Mystic Crystal, huh? And we're at, we've already farmed all of our characters for the day, so we're all right. We've got plenty of those. These ones and these ones seem to be really hard. These serums, I think they go for like every character, it seems like. You know what I mean? So you're going to want a ton of them. You can never buy enough of them, I mean, essentially. Now I'm going to need these crystals for the next two or one or two, three gear levels. Green gear levels, I believe. So that's why I went ahead and farmed it up. Because um, green gear, it's going to use green crystals. <coughs> Every four levels, I believe. Oh, we're going to hit the million fast. But I got I got to build it, man. Amazing. I cannot wait to use this guy. See, and it says in war. That's amazing. You can use them on offense or defense. Obviously, if they got war buffs, you probably want to use them on defense to utilize them. That way, if they win, they get those war buffs for the following time, too. So, um, something to think about there. Of course, you take them on offense, you're going to win your fight against 99% of the teams. 99.9. .9. All right. So, hey, Wolverine, what up? I've been buying those as I see them. That's that mini unique for them. I think we're good for the moment. Spent too much already. Starting to feel drained, man. What the what? What did we get? Some gold? Whammy. I really enjoy opening orbs. I still haven't seen a symbiote spider mine on any of my accounts. We've opened hundreds of these things. And that was just what I opened on my main account, mainly. Um, I open them every day. You know, three, four, five, six of these a day. And it's still, I just get junk after junk. I mean, it's not junk, obviously, but... <laughs> It's uh, it's definitely not Symbiote Spider-Man ever, which just blows my mind. Don't make sense to me. Um, we've already blitzed. Raids. 
We can do a raid real quick. All right, I'm gonna let you guys all go there. Um, have a great night. Stay healthy. Uh, we'll see you in the morning for coffee and dailies, hopefully.